So uh, let's assume that you are assigned a task to design a network and in that network in the LAN there should be a total of 100 users. So what you are going to do, you are going to connect all those 100 users with the help of various switches. Uh, like uh, you will use 2, 3, 4, 5 and number of switches and you are going to connect all those switches all together and you are going to connect the end devices, you are going to connect the devices at the end. Now uh, there will be a requirement of assigning the iPad disk to every particular device because if you don't assign the iPad disk to the device, uh, you might not be able to send the data from one point to the other point. So uh, one way to do that is basically assign the IP addresses on every device manually. Besides the IP address, you also have to assign the subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server and a lot of other information. So uh, assigning these information, all these information to all these devices manually is going to be a little, a little bit time consuming process. So that is why we have a protocol named as DHCP, Dynamic Host Transmission Protocol, which is basically responsible to uh, provide the IP addressing to the client automatically. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the use cases of the DHCP. Hi, my name is Surendra and I'm Cisco Certified Instructor here at IMUTA and I will guide you through today's topic. So let's begin. So uh, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is an application layer protocol. That means all the messages, all the DHCP messages are going to be generated at the application layer. And for, the, for further processing, they are going to be handed over to the transport layer. At a transport layer, it is going to utilize the TCP, uh, not the TCP, uh, UDP services. And DHCP is a UDP protocol. And uh, the port number that it is going to use, it is there are two port numbers for the DHCP, one is 67 one, and one is 68. Uh, one port number is for the server and one port number is for the client. So, why we use DHCP? We use the DHCP uh, because the DHCP protocol with the help of the DHCP protocol, uh, the DHCP server can provide the IP address, submit mask, default gateway, DNS server and some other information uh, to the clients dynamically. So uh, DHCP works on a process that is named as DORA process, discover of a request acknowledgement. So DHCP works on a DORA process. What happens in the DORA process is that whenever a client boots up, and that client is set to get the IP address from the DHCP server automatically. What will happen? That DHCP client is going to send a DHCP discovery message just to discover the presence of the DHCP server in the network. That DHCP discovery message is actually broadcasted to all the devices in the LAN. So uh, like when that DHCP discover message is received by the DHCP server, DHCP server will come to know that someone in the LAN is basically asking for the IP address. Uh, here we are considering that the HCP server and the HCP client they both belong to the same local agent network. We are not considering the fact that the DHCP server and the HCP client they are basically in the different broadcast domain. So, uh, when the DHCP server receives a DHCP discovery message, uh, uh, it will come to know that uh, someone is asking for the IP address. So, so what will happen? Like uh, it will respond with an offer. So, in the offer message, it is going to offer an IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, it, it will offer some IP parameters to the client. When the client receives the DHCP offer message, it is going to request, because a client could have received the DHCP offer from multiple servers, so it is going to request, it is going to request for that particular offer offered by the DHCP server. So it is going to send the DHCP request message that is also broadcasted and will again be received by the DHCP server and finally the DHCP server is going to send an acknowledgement message acknowledgement packet just to tell the client that I have allocated this particular IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and all these things to you. So uh, DHCP works on the DORA process and the entire DORA process is basically broadcasted. There are still some debates like uh, discover is broadcast or request is broadcast but offer is unicast, acknowledgement is unicast. So, uh, if you do the labs on the real devices, like if you do the labs on Cisco devices, uh, you take a Cisco router and you take a PC, you configure the Cisco router as a DHCP server, okay, and you know, you, you, you set this PC to get the IP from the DHCP server and you do a Wireshark capture in between and you will get the answer, like if the discover, offer, request and acknowledgement, the, are they broadcasted or discover and request is broadcasted only and offer and acknowledgement is basically multicasted. So in short, not multicasted, uh, unicasted. So in short, basically like the uh, DHCP protocol, the dynamic host configuration protocol, it is just to get the IP address from the DHCP server so that we don't have to assign the IP address to the devices manually one by one because that is going to be a, a, a lot more hectic task for the administrator and it, might, and it will also consume a lot of time. Thank you. So if you like this video uh, or if you have any question let us know in the comment section and hit the bell icon for the uh, 
good updates and subscribe to the channel thank you